Good morning, folks. Yeni, yes, I'm still alive. And one piece with my coffee in the morning, and then with this lipstick. Yeah, I have to put the lipstick on. So dry. You can imagine being in this room, round and round, whole day, just by yourself, with air conditioning. And in dry climate country, even drier here in this room. Yep. I'm I'm survive. It's good. Day five or day six. Oh, uh, this is just an information. Um, we are going to be here exactly fourteen days if there's nothing wrong. Yeah, if um, they're going to test us uh, to test us again on day ten or eleven or something uh, for the second time for the swab test. And if there's nothing wrong, there's nothing funny. Uh, they will release us on day fourteen. So I arrived here in this. Uh, I, um, I was landed at uh, 4 p.m., so which is exact on the 17th of December. So uh, they will release me on the 31st of December, exactly at 4 p.m. Yes. Um, yeah, and then I will uh, I will catch up. I will I will rush to the airport to catch the the the, the late flight of the day, which is almost midnight, five minutes to midnight to Melbourne. Coffee. Um, what am I gonna tell you guys? This is the thing. If if you're on this kind of quarantine things, um, just make sure that you you will just still do your normal things, even though it's not really normal. Uh, go shower, uh, put on your normal clothes, and work, and those. Yeah, just do anything that you normally do during your daily life. Um. How do I feel now? It's pretty much okay. Day one and two kind of complaining. No, I'm not the kind of person of complaining. When I, when I complain about something, actually, it's more like love, it, love at myself. Like having this, having beautiful lunch, colorful lunch with cold soup. <laughs> so I said, Yeah, take that, take that cold stuff, eat. Um, to be honest, this is kind of like funny. I feel better now. I feel I have no, there's no whinging feeling. There's no, uh, except when I see that swimming pool is just like, try like say, Yeni, come here, Yeni. Here, Yeni, you want to swim? Come here. That's the only thing. But the rest, I feel okay. Um, I'm not sure if. If any of you have been into this kind of quarantine, do you feel the same way as I do? Um, I feel better. Um, that's why when people have problem with their this, go solitude, go to the cave like like the monks, you know, like the Buddhist monks. They they hide hide away. They hide themselves up there in the mountain in a cave, only eat vegetables or grass. And you talk to yourself, you you absorb everything surrounds you. We um, examine things. And I think that's the that's the one of the best medicines, my one of the best medication. No one cheap. <laughs> you don't pay anything. Not me. I have to pay the shit this room. Uh, yeah, they just asked uh, for my credit card uh, yesterday, so I, I don't know how much. I think roughly about three thousand dollars for for fourteen days, plus five dollars of the coffee that they sent to me yesterday. I thought it was uh, for free of charge. My children they charge five dollars. Hmm. Uh, so what else I'm gonna say? Yeah, if you feel uh, if you feel not right, instead of you run to a pub and have a drink. Talk to your mates, talk bullshit, rubbish, and make um, gossiping or drunk. Why don't you just do th do this? Go hide away. Go somewhere in the mountain or on the beach, rent a villa or something, just by yourself. And I cannot really tell you what it is, but you will feel different. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
can't really express what does it feel what it, what it is but yeah go for it it's good like i feel so light like i'm just with my normal stuff um i start to i start i start to more appreciate i appreciate i appreciate stuff i respect things i but i uh, it's more now i appreciate everything i appreciate I don't really whinging on myself that I put on weight. Yes, I did. I did put on weight. Um, since I'm back from Melbourne last June until now, I think I put about four or five kilos of weight. So big on my bum, I feel it. I can't, you know, I don't like it. Uh, I, I kind of hate myself for letting my body gain weight this much. But now, no. Mm -mm. I say it's okay, Yeni. Just don't forget to take that off, move your arms, go to the gym or whatever, run, swim, and lose it. But I did, I do not angry at myself anymore. I do not like, oh, no, why I can't lose weight? No. Even now I feel like, I think I put a little bit of weight here because they fit me like three times a day while at home. I don't. I didn't not even, you know, in the morning, I only have coffee, um, a bit of, almost nothing. And then I have my, my, my breakfast late in the afternoon, like 2 or 3 p.m. But why did I put on weight? Because I eat at night time. I was like, during that current, during that lockdown in Jakarta for seven months, I, I jeopardized myself. I, I worked so hard and I did not have proper time when to rest when to sleep when to eat so I roughly just um, abandoned myself but now it's okay okay I put on weight about four or five kilos and I don't like this then I will work it out all right uh, seven minutes now